ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. So about a year ago on a whim, I decided to make a budget PC. I wanted to get a relatively good video card for it, but as everybody knows, it's really difficult to get a video card, a good video card, uh, in this day and age. So I had to go for this Ghost Series, XFXR Series, and uh, yeah, let's get this thing out and we'll have a good look at it. So this beast likes to represent itself as an RX 250. As you can see at the bottom right, this unit definitely has a, a hefty the energy pull so you got to make sure that you have a good power supply for it yeah so the sad spectacle of this is this thing is almost nine years old but if you're making a budget PC and you're getting used parts odds are you're going to be getting a video card much like this now that's kind of freaking sad but it is one of the signs of our times that's for sure let's face it we're having a hard time getting any video cards we're having a hard time getting any chips at all geez even the auto industry are having so many problems the supply chains pooch, there's people who can work who just choose not to because they won't get anywhere near enough money. The class warfare between the rich and the poor is at an all-time high, and there's something called the middle class. But none of that really matters because all that we really want to know is will it play Fortnite and will it play Grand Theft Auto. Alright, so I got this unit booted on up and it looks like to Windows it identifies as an R7 200 series. Oh my goodness, 31 frames per second. I knew this thing was definitely not top of the line, but look at this. This quality is about the same as uh, an i5 10th generation with, you know, whatever Intel installs on there these days. It's just freaking amazing that something like this still costs about 60 bucks plus shipping in this day and age that we're in where nobody can find any freaking hardware nobody can find any good video card all right check it out i can make it full screen but it's pretty choppy i am not getting any better than 31 frames per second on this no matter what i do yeah definitely pretty choppy but definitely responsive i can actually handle this game holy hell i overclocked the cpu i overclocked the gpu and it's still not that much better all right, so Fortnite's definitely taken a lot better to this video card. I'm actually rocking about uh, 30 frames per second in the weight area. Well, now it's up to 50. We are in the Santa bus that is looking pretty good at 60 frames per second. Looking down at 60 frames per second. We are descending at about 50 frames per second. Not so bad. Things are looking pretty good, and it's one of those situations where as soon as I say things are looking good, everything freezes. Little does my squad know that I accidentally selected squads and not solo like I meant to. <clears throat> I guess that means if my kids start screaming, then I have to leave, but otherwise I can try. Wow, that's pretty rough. It would probably be good if I had speakers right about now. I hope this doesn't turn into one of those games where I stand around getting loot for like 20 minutes and then all of a sudden I get killed from someone who I don't even see. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> wow, look how bad those trees are loading in. Someone's getting ahead of the group. There's 43 people left on this map and I haven't seen one of them yet. I probably wasn't supposed to kill this guy, but I was so bored. All right, I'm calling it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. This is what we got going on. 60 frames per second in Fortnite, my guys. What the heck is this? We should probably go back now. Have a good one, folks.